Anthony Simon Cantos of Iron Machina Customs. Rocket is an old pocket bike na galing sa mechanic namin. So hindi na siya napapatakbo, hindi na siya nagagamit. And then sabi ko, kind of like the idea na gawin siyang custom bike for my son. Kasi yung birthday niya was upcoming. I wanted na mabigyan siya ng first bike niya. He's four years old though, so medyo hindi pa rin talaga niya kaya i-drive to. But the concept is there. The bike is fully refabricated, full function. Ang kinuha lang namin doon sa original na pocket bike is the engine, which is a grass cutter, and then yung front suspension. Then the rest is just ginawa na namin siya from scratch. So everything is actually all fabricated, especially the chassis, based from an XR200. Fitted the engine, we have the custom tank. This is actually a moped tank eh, but we refabricated it. Kinustomize na rin namin siya for the, for the original look of this bike. So we wanted to look like a old school scrambler, but you know, small. So we have the custom seat, we have the custom fenders, the exhaust, the fenders at the front, the engine guard, front fenders, and this windshield. I'm not sure how they call this, but it's a more of a tracker cover. Even the suspension is actually an aftermarket one that actually can be used. Talaga. These are Royal Enfield handlebars. So technically, it's all salvaged parts. Tapos pinagsama sami namin siya sa isang bike. But of course, mainly the chassis and then some of its parts are all fabricated. So I gave this bike to my son para lang sa birthday niya. It runs perfectly at the same time. It's a showpiece bike because a lot of people actually liked it because it's small, it's cute because sabi nila and it's all fully functional. Even mga matatanda kaya siyang drive. This is a custom bike by Iron Machina. We built it by heart at the same time with passion. This is Paul Anthony of Iron Machina Customs and see you. Hi Makina, I'm Waymon Cannon, owner of Absolute Auto Works, who does custom bikes. Today I brought our BMW G650 X Country. Before, um, I used to have dual sport knobby tires, but since our concept now is pan twisty siya na scrambler, so we put on Pirelli Scorpion 3 trails para mas makapit siya sa road. And then, before it had a long tail, so we chopped it off, put on rear seat cowl, and yeah, mas malina siya. So tail tidy na siya. In the front part, we took out the 6 inch headlight, we placed our custom BMW 7 inch. That's clear na siya for modern look. Kasi this is an 08, eh. high beak for the long travel na front suspension, and custom na shock guard para pag nag light trail or maprotectahan yung shock sa atin. Before it used to be all black, now we call it the mellow yellow build. Eh. It's not the usual yellow, it's a combination of championship white and yellow. So yan ang kinalabasan, mellow yellow. Since medyo dual sport siya na vibe, we placed yung pan GS na hand guards with smoke screen guard additional LED signal lamp for more visibility at night pero kagandahan sa kanya it's small lang and we put on also auxiliary lights it's basically generic auxiliary lights but it helps kasi meron din siyang flasher to ano new to traffic Exhaust natin is a custom twin pipe to give the scrambler tracker look. Used to be this big, so ngayon yan naka custom na siya. I'm Waymon Cannon, owner of Absolute Auto Works. We custom motorcycles now. This is our bike, the G650 X Country base bike. We call it the Mellow Yellow Build. Hello Makina fans, this is Coco from Coco Moto Manila. We came up with this design. Ang base bike is a Honda CRF 150. It's a great base bike to begin with kasi naka mono shock na siya, inverted front forks up front at maganda na rin yung linya niya. We decided na we're gonna keep the whole frame stock. We custom a whole new bike just around the frame. We decided to use aluminum at gumawa ho tayo ng body kit. This is all handmade tapos we decided to do it in sections para pa rin siya yung stock bike masaservice mo siya with just a few screws at saka yung mga original na mga mounting points ng screws dun din tayo nag screw ulit ng mga body parts natin for the front naglagay tayo ng fascia with integrated mini driving lights mas maganda pa to sa mga regular stock na headlights then we put a front fender and to make it even more aggressive 
Pinalitan ho natin ng 17-inch rims yung harap at saka likod. 110 by 70 sa harap, 140 by 70 naman sa likod. We wrapped it with Midas tires so we can assure yung traction niya at saka yung performance ng gulong. Nag-relocate tayo ng kanyang instrument cluster. Nakamount a little higher near the handlebars. We decided to go with bar end signal lights para mas malinis. Makikita siya from the front and the back. So wala ka nang ikakabit pa na signal light sa likod. Now, for the tail light, we made our own out of acrylic. We shaped it para sumunod siya dun sa body part natin sa likod. Tapos, naglagay ko tayo ng LED light sa likod. Si Roger from Navatech, he made this really nice seat. He used different materials para meron texture. And sinunod niya pa rin yung mga angular na linya ng design ng bike. For the pipes naman, pumunta po ako kay Sir Dennis Villarama and thank you sa boys of VMAX. This is a whole exhaust system specific specifically for the CRF 150. We decided to paint it white kasi we wanted the clean lines. Ang idea kasi namin dito more on cyberpunk, yung uh, Japanese anime na macros. So yun ho yung design inspiration natin. Naglagay lang tayo ng pinstripe na black para i-accentuate yung linya ng bike na na-create natin. Here at Kokomoto Manila, gusto namin pag lumalabas yung bike para siyang galing sa factory. Sana yung mga fitment namin eh, ma-appreciate nyo at ma-appreciate mga judges. Maraming salamat po! Oo, oh, huwag ka na magtatagal ha! Babalik ka kagad! Hello mga fans ni Sir Sack! I'm Adrian Reyes Asinto from Nongski Garage Custom Bikes. Bali ito si Mamba FC 150. FC 150 na to from Yamaha. Na-stack na to sa may-ari. Medyo hindi na siya nagagamit. Kaya binild natin uh, sa scrambler tracker na modern. Para Neo style siya. Ito, uh, ginawa natin siya ng ano, uh, crafted. Yung mga panels natin. Yung frame niya, kinat natin. Yung pinaka-subframe niya. Ginawa natin medyo weird. Medyo BMW yung gusto nating ma-achieve. Eh. Pero, syempre, medyo budget-friendly. Tapos, ito, yung mga fenders. Nag-provide uh, din tayo ng custom elbow sa aftermarket na Mapler. Huwag na tayong mag-ice cream. Butong pakwan ang pukuti. Nagpalit din tayo ng mga tires. Dual sport para maging masasting tingnan. yung skid plate na to. Ito yung design na ginawa natin para kay Mamba. Medyo manipis lang siya para ma-emphasize yung laki ng tank. Ito, yung mga covers natin. Yung cowling para sa headlight case, sa sign light. Purong crafted din siya para maitago yung ibang wires. Ang nais ng aking mahal kung kami makasal. Ito, yung fender natin. 1.2 mm na sheet. Okay, ito si Mamba. Um, ano namin siya ginawa? Mga two and a half months din. Medyo mahirap din kasi. Gaya nung naista kasi siya. Hindi nagagamit. Nagpalit tayo ng mga parts. Ibang parts siya. Medyo kailangan i-restored na rin. Bali, ang Nongski Garage Custom Bikes. Uh, located kami sa 539 San Jose, Plari del Bulacan. Nag-start kami sa small garage lang. Talagang literally na garage. Parking ng kotse. Tapos uh, nag-start kami mag-build ng bikes. Ito si Mamba, FC 150. I'm Adrian Reyes Asinto from Nongski Garage Custom Bikes, Bulacan. Wow! Sa buwan magpakasyon Ang sasakyan natin ay rakit Patungo sa buwan Ngayon ay di na imposible Ang 